1% of the world's population now has a control, the ownership of 50% of the world's wealth, which uh, explains those areas outside of this nice little pocket where you and I are tonight. And somehow, I think we've all been brainwashed into thinking, at some level, somehow that's okay, you know? Or else we'd all be out in the street screaming and throwing a big fit like we ought to, myself included. And I had to say something about that tonight because I, you know, I see that all the time like you, but I was driving down the street and I saw a young woman who I'll just admit looked a little bit like my granddaughter who's about 17 now. And uh, she was obviously, had nothing to her name. And, but she had a little boy about this tall walking down the street with him. He was looking up at her, his little finger hooked in her finger. And it was just so obvious how much she loved that little boy. And uh, it just really shook me up to think how little she has to give him and how little this world has agreed to give him and how tough it's going to be. And that that's my fault and your fault. And um, I feel the weight of that tonight. people that are working for us, leading us around, uh, saying that we can't afford a decent minimum wage. In my mind, those people are just on that street with that kid taking food out of his mouth. That's exactly what they're doing. It's no different. <laughs> There's none of them would agree to be seen doing that, but that's what they're doing. So, that can change. Uh, a lot of people since, you know, for way back have been working on that and it's gotten better and it's gotten worse and it's gotten better and it's gotten worse, but Martin Luther King was one of those people and he understood what we were up against. And I was struck in that neighborhood too by the mix of the population. This wasn't a color issue, it was just your outright poverty issue that's hitting more and more people all the time. So, um, I'm going to sing this song tonight for those people with the hope that we can get it together and change some things. This is based on a quote of uh, Martin Luther King. I think he spoke this at that at his major speech there in Washington. I'm not sure. I know it was in one of his speeches. I think it's a quote out of the Bible, if I remember right, that it struck me. Um, I put it to this song. 